Welcome to paperfinesse.com. We'll be doing some tutorials on Silhouette Studio and also various paper crafts. So sit back and let's have some fun. We're going to look at how to bring in additional patterns into the My Patterns folder. I'm using Silhouette Studio Designer Edition version 3 and I'm going to click to open up My Patterns. Now if you want to add more folders just right click New Folder and name it. And I've got a several in here so far. I've got Cartabella, Echo Park, Lori Whitlock, Samantha Walker, and I've got subcategories. So for Samantha Walker I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to name it Nautical. Nautical. Okay, and I've got my folders opened up over here where I've got my papers and I'm going to select them and I wouldn't, let me see, I'm only going to do six at a time. The papers are larger files and it has a tendency to crash. Now that we've got our patterns in the library, let's fill an object with it. And normally you would go to the pattern window and scroll, um, let's see we have, a, let's get an object here make a box and you'd scroll and find the pattern you like. I'm not going to scroll because it's a known bug. The It won't scroll much farther than where it is right now and every time I do it on my Mac it freezes. So, But there is a workaround. You can open your split view. Right here is your library view. I've got a little arrow here. If your window's bigger it'll be right below that library view. It looks like a double, like an open book. It says show library and drawing area. Open that and you can see both your drawing area and your library. So I'm going to go, let's go back up to my nautical here. Everything seems to take longer when I select it in this version. Okay, now I want to fill it with the stripes. So let's go with these and I'm going to just drag it over to my object and release drag and drop it. Takes a second here to fill. Okay, now we still have, and you, this, this is operational, you can go into the advanced options and let's go down to the scale pattern. You can make it larger or smaller and you can rotate the direction you can even set the transparency if you're putting this on top of something else that has a color under it. You can affect, you can adjust transparency. So that's the pattern, isn't that cool? Now the next thing we're going to do is let's back up to library view. So I'm going to add some, going to add some elements to my library, some digi digital elements. Um, this nautical pack also came with what they call stickers. So, seeing I already have a Samantha Walker, see how slow everything moves? Right click, new folder, I'm going to name it Nautical, and I press my return key to accept it, and I'm going to open where I've got my files. And I guess Windows would be File Open with Mac, it's up the Finder. And this is my stickers for Nautica. I'm going to select one. I'm going to press the Shift key and left click to select all of them. And I'm going to drag it and drop it. I think I did it. Okay. Drag it. Drop it there. 
There we go. You can actually see the number and the names above my screen. Now, I'll, now I will release it. These are relatively small files, so it doesn't take very long. Now these are not cut files like your other items in your library from the Silhouette Store. These are print and cut files. And if you want to actually cut, then you need to do a trace, which I'm going to show you how to do. These weren't actually meant to be used in the digital cutters. They're, um, they're primarily used for digital scrapbooking. But I get these images from jessicasprague.com and on One Buck Wednesdays I get really good deals, so it's a great way to get some inexpensive print and cuts. You used to see the loading window only. The percentage was for the entire 29 objects that I'm dragging. Now it's for every single image. You'll know it's done when you see the files down here will change from 0 to whatever number you add it. I picked out an image to show you how to trace um, to do a print and cut and it's one with some issues so I can show you some techniques of how to fix problem images. Okay, this is done. I'm going to close my binder and these are all these objects you can use for tags or stickers or whatever you like to use them for. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please push the thumbs up like button and subscribe to the video. See you next time.